My name is Phil Simon. The California Highway Patrolman straightened his hat and he looked me in the eye and he said, son, it was bound to happen. It was uh, 1993 and we were on tour. It was the first band I had uh, been booking and uh, doing road management for. They were called uh, International Anthem. And uh, I had booked them a 10 day tour to California and we were driving south from Oregon and uh, we were heading into the Northern California town of Ukiah when the Fort Econo line that we were traveling in, and there was only six band members and myself and two crew guys, a PA and two drum sets and a variety of gear. And as we were driving, the, um, the van uh, was gripped by an invisible hand on, uh, that was grabbing the drivetrain like, <laughs> and uh, it, it made me really nervous and uh, I was driving so I pulled into uh, the local mechanic tire shop uh, type of place and, and they put it up on the lift and, and he said, oh man, uh, the, whole, the whole rear end is shot and you're going to have to get another one that's going to take about two, three days. And uh, I said, well, no, this van and these people are going to Palo Alto tonight. And uh, he said, mm, I don't think so. And uh, I said, well, yes, we are. And uh, I said, everybody back in the van. And we all piled back in the van and we started. And I don't know how many of you have been to Ukiah, California, but the um, five or six miles as you're going south out of there is incredibly uh, curvy and uh, pretty much straight uphill. And I was incredibly tuned into the sound of the drivetrain as I was driving, and uh, much to my amazement, no noises. It's like, this is amazing. And at the top of this curvy hill, you reach a plateau that goes about uh, 10 miles straight as an arrow. I'm like, this is fantastic. And we start driving, and I get up to about 60, 65 miles an hour when that sound returns with a vengeance. <laughs> So I wrestle the van, Ford Econoline, uh, to the side of the road uh, from 65 miles an hour down to zero pretty, pretty quickly. And I put it in a park, and I'm going to get out to assess the circumstance, and I look in the side mirror, and I see fire leaping out of the rear wheel well as the wheel has exited the vehicle. And um, I turn in, and in slow motion, I scream, FIRE! At which point, all eight or nine of us exit the vehicle very quickly, and um, I'm on the side of the California highway when a white pickup truck pulls up very fast, and he screeches to a halt. He grabs a fire extinguisher out of the bed of his truck, and he runs across the highway, and he puts out the fire. Well, we're standing there assessing the situation for a second, and I'm looking up the road back northward from whence we came, and I see uh, smoke uh, coming about uh, up from the field there, and the guy who saved us, he looks up too, and he, he goes, that must be where your wheel went. <laughs> and he jumps into the pickup truck, and he races up the road, and I'm starting to panic pretty good, and he comes back two or three minutes later, and he said, um, well, the uh, flames are 20 feet tall and 200 feet across, and they're racing across this field. I'm out of here. Good luck. And he leaves, and uh, I watch in both amazement and horror as over the next 10 minutes or so, three fire engines, a helicopter, and two planes arrive to extinguish the fire. Now, when I was a much younger man, I remember being told a story about someone who was driving who had thrown their cigarette out the window and had caused an enormous fire, and that that person was presented with the bill for what it took to extinguish this fire. And here I am, I'm about 22 years old, and I'm thinking, this is going to be a heck of a bill. And uh, the California Highway Patrol arrives and says, whose vehicle is this? And my friend Mark, he, he raises his hand, and uh, out comes the notepad, he writes down Mark's name, and he said, who was driving? And, and, and I raise my hand, and, and he takes my name down, and I said, well, sir, um, 
this is awfully unfortunate, um, but I have to say, um, this was a lie, an accident, and um, I don't really feel responsible. And he looks at me, and he adjusts his hat, and he said, son, it was bound to happen. <laughs>